بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, fine. So let's uh, get into the some other counselling uh, kind of requirement here. Now, just a quick summary of the profile. What we, what your profile, is more on kind of a previous role on the text of network admin kind of role, and this is based on your previous experience, and the current experience you are completely working on a network security engineer kind of role, working more on the. For all to five months, right? And basically, roughly, you have something around six months of uh, previous experience on this. Again, and you're also learning on the for all to five months a little bit more in detail as you're working as well. Now, the other things what uh, works in your company or the other engineers like in terms of routing and switching, we do have some specific Cisco devices, and likewise, there are some other network security engineers. Working on some other other firewalls like ESA or Chetan, or even into more routing kind of things, we do have a network team that's more working on that. Okay, and likewise, you do have a data center, but you don't have any uh, kind of access or idea about the data center networks in your company network. So probably we are not getting into that. So considering the role or the active. What exactly your goal is to be a good security architect kind of role. So basically, your end goal is more into uh, making your career yourself as a more into security architect, where you you might want to get into more design and implementations. Okay, but currently, the, but the, as we discussed, the current role is not much into design and implementation. It is more on monitoring and configurations. I think that's what the role is. Means once your network is set up already, you don't design, you don't implement day to day. So at the end, you will be doing this stuff. Okay. So again, coming back to the things, what suggest from my side, based on your things. Again, if you go back and check the other tutorials as well, the counseling sessions, mostly the things remains the common for all. But the first thing we need to expertise some of the technologies which you already know. And in the second step, you need to learn the new skill set, which will make you to be a network architect or kind of things. And of course, finally, you have to merge your experience and your skill set uh, whenever you are applying for a new job. Really, so that will automatically provide you better high gas well. So coming to the first thing, uh, expertizing your technologies means now the first thing you need to expertise your own technologies. Like let's say your previous experience is more on the system admin side, you need to have some good knowledge on the Cisco networking, like Cisco CCN level. Now, considering you might have done CCN very long back, you need to revise some of the routing switching concepts, at least on the CCN level, because so at the end the network knowledge or the network skill set is going to be a compulsory or the mandatory skill set you need to acquire. Because once you understand your network in terms of routers or switches, that will automatically help you to uh, understand the security concepts as well. Now, apart from that, you also have the skills of Palo Alto. Uh, probably, again, I'm not sure how good you are at this, but obviously, I recommend you to also expertise the Palo Alto skills, firewall skills. That's something you, I really want you to expertise on that as well. Because when you are planning to get into more on network security, because you're already working on a security domain. So which means that will be an, again, the ideal way to go forward, like getting some more additional skill set. But before you jump into any new skill set, you need to make sure that you expertise the skill set, what you already acquired. And even you might be implementing some VPNs or any other, any other things, you just need to expertise the skill set, whatever the skill set you have mentioned in your profile, like VPN or any other firewall related things, you need to expertise those things. So this is going to be the first step. And as per as per this, what I understood, these are the minimum skills, what you need to do minimum. And the next thing is you need to add the new skill set because just simply having the Palo Alto skill set that's not going to help you in the future because when you're moving to a different company, then you might be, they might be using a different firewall, maybe an ASA firewall 
or they might be using an FTD or they might be using a checkpoint or they might be using a fortified firewall. So you don't really know exactly what kind of firewall they use because the firewall market is not, uh, not you know, dominated by any one vendor. It's a kind of shape between the multiple vendors in general. So now the question is you need to add the multiple skill set for the firewall skill set that's something make your profile much stronger. So which means when you're moving on to a different company or internally, if you're moving on to a, another project, like you said, your company also have the ASA firewalls and the checkpoint firewalls in some of the projects, uh, which are completely maintained by a separate team. So if you have the knowledge of this ASA and the checkpoint, and then probably that will also give you an opportunity to uh, merge your skill set at the same time that will give an opportunity to work on this skill set as well. Uh, at the same time, that will also increase the hike as well. The, the, the salary hike and all those things can also be possible. So now uh, you need to add the skill set. This is something you have to do. And once you add the skill set, uh, try to get some work experience on this. If you already have the firewalls, like if we already have these firewalls in your network, uh, try to get some hands-on, uh, get some work experience, or at least if you don't get a chance to get some hands-on experience, what I suggest you to do is at least try to understand or try to get an idea about the network and the implementation part. Implementation, how they're implemented or how it is designed. A little bit idea on that. That will again help you in your next job because that comes the next step. So if you want to get into more a kind of security role, then you can also add some other security skill set like the CCMP security where you have a Cisco eyes or you have an FTD or you have the VPN concepts. There are plenty of other things you also cover in the Cisco CCMP security. Like I said, when you add the security profile, there are plenty of things you can do, but which one you have to do, it totally depends upon the exposure. Okay, so it really depends on your exposure, which which technologies you get exposure in your company, current company. Like as we discussed, you, you your company have the checkpoint firewall and the ASA firewalls in your projects uh, managed by some other team. Then probably I suggest you to go with these two things initially because that will help you to merge your profile when you move on. So now coming back to the third step, in the third step, you will be merging your expertise, merging your experience, merging your skill set when you land into a new job role. Because now once you are trying to job, get into a new job role, let's say you are applying for a new job and whatever the previous experience you have, like the first experience you have more on network admin kind of role and the current experience is more on uh, security engineer maintaining the Palo Alto. But these two experiences are not going to uh, enhance or or make you a bet make you do a better job. So which means you cannot simply just put on these two things. You probably need to put on this additional skill set, whatever you have acquired. So which means you need to specify that you have been into these things already. So whatever the skill set you have learned, those skill set you probably has to merge in these two working profiles. Like which means you can say like network security admin kind of role. You can just change this. Or if you can get because at then uh, whatever the work role you have been working here, so probably they are not going to check much on that. Uh, at then they don't really see whether you are worked on system side or whether you are worked on the routing side or whether you are worked on the security side. But once you say a kind of a network administrator kind of a role, it basically involves multiple things. It can be on the system, it can be on the routing, or it can be on the security, on those things as well. So that's uh, something you have to show up. So which means uh, whatever the first job role, what you have, that you need to little bit show up with some kind of security admin kind of role. Means you need to add some skill set relevant to not only system, relevant to routing and the security. And the same thing you have to do here as well. Whatever the role, the second job role, the current job role, what you are doing currently, you just need to merge the skill set and show up some experience more on the security side. That will help you to get into a better security job. 
because at the end you your profile will be much stronger because you you have a back end two job roles of experiences on the security at the same time you also possess the skill set what is required to prove yourself that's something very important because that that's how it is done it's not like you know uh, it's not like you just uh, showing that you know you just make your profile strong but with the back end you don't have that skill set it's not like that so out of 100 profiles 90 profiles you have a very good skill set mentioned in the profile but the problem comes when they face the interviews they don't really uh, up to the mark they don't even have the 50% of the skill set just to make your profile very big uh, handsome and you know very, very good profile to get shortlisted you do these things but you need to make sure that whatever you mention in your profile these things uh, at least you should be up to the mark of 70 to 80 percent or at least 60 percent of those things because at the end when you mention 100 things on the profile they expect you to know or very good at at least 60 to 70 things right obviously so this is something what is uh, something i suggest and this is something what is suitable for you as per my suggestions anyway if you have any questions we'll quickly see and i will continue there are some specific programs which i suggest you to do it uh, probably that will come back to these programs a little bit later once we once we have some few discussions here okay fine so uh, just a continuation of this uh, quick questions from the participant like in order to do these things is there any kind of prerequisite knowledge you need to have or like any other programs you need to know like cloud knowledge or proxy knowledge these kind of things see basically when we talk about network security kind of things it involves multiple things so which means mainly it involves more on the network security you need to have uh, more knowledge on the firewalls and mostly like multi-vendor kind of firewalls uh, adding some two to three uh, firewall knowledges that's something recommended and again if you are new to the security normally we suggest to start with uh, the s core paper uh, generally we have this s core uh, training videos which is something you can plan so this basically if you are new to the security completely and you want to start up your career as a network security or you want to move from the network admin kind of role to network security kind of roles then the s -core video trainings uh, this basically could will be a good foundation to understand because in this you will be i will be covering you know uh, plenty of things plenty of topics in fact let me quickly show you uh, these options if i can so i do have this uh, s core security code paper three this one now this basically covers uh, more on that like about the cisco certification mostly this is more on the foundations kind of thing like understanding the network security concepts and then the common security attacks some few terminologies and then the remote management mostly the foundations foundations to understand like firewalls, understanding some firewalls, some part of ASA, NAT, and also some VPN foundations you learn on this, AAA foundations you learn, web-based attacks, WC, ESA, IPS. This is more on foundation concepts. So this is something, the first thing you can do. And if you're already working on a security, then probably uh, that's not required. So if you want to move on to the firewall kind of stuff, then basically what I suggest is to start with ASA or firewall or any other firewall. Again, the ASA firewall is something, uh, the course what we cover comes with the foundations. So, or you can come with any other foundations as well. And uh, coming back to the question, like, do you need to have any knowledge of cloud or proxy? Now, it depends on your requirement, but basically, if you, because most of the time people tend to learn some kind of cloud programs, but what we do is we can host these devices either on a physical box or we can do it on a virtual server or we can host them on the cloud. But at the end, they connect to the network. So if your company is hosting some of these firewalls or some of these devices on the cloud and connecting it, now in that scenario, probably you need to have a little bit of knowledge of the cloud, but that's not uh, always mandatory. So even that few interfaces, you can also quickly learn. And you don't need to be uh, expertise on that. Or proxy. Now, proxy, again, it depends on your company network. Because most of the time, you will be using a web proxy. 
like with Cisco, you have a Cisco WSF uh, product, web security appliance, which will do web security along with web proxy. Uh, probably these things you can add up. Now, whatever the skill set you're going to add, in, that totally depends upon what you have in your company network. So whatever you have in your company network, you can add those skill set. And let's say you don't have any firewalls in your company network, you can just add uh, random things or as per the job roles in your location, what different types of firewalls or what different types of security concepts you learn. Because when you when you just jump into the CCNP security, again, there are plenty of things you, you will learn. So like one of the program, as I said, you will have this multi vendor program. It is something what uh, definitely helps you to expertise on multiple firewalls. The other one is you also have something like the CCNP security program, which is again the alternate program. Now, again, when you talk about CCNP security, there are multiple uh, programs you have. This is more on the firepower. And then this is on Cisco IS, AAA concepts, network, uh, network access authentication, those kind of things. Email security, web security, VPN, automation, this kind of thing. So you, you can select the module completely depending upon your requirement, or you can just uh, jump into CCNP security and add this skill set again. So the more skill set you add, the more good. But at the same time, you need to uh, make sure that you are good at those skill set. Whether you're adding two or three skill set also will be uh, fine again.